This video is powered by CardMarket.com. Hey there, it's Jabber here. We're doing a massive opening of a bunch of foil bulk that had come in the mail today. I am paying $250 for this box. So hopefully, as it's uh, very carefully marked in this box, it looks like it's in perfect condition. I'm assuming everything inside of it is in great condition. So we're gonna check out all these foils. I have not seen any of them. Super excited about it. If you guys enjoy this video, please drop a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and bell for more. Also, uh, check out my Instagram. I have a link down below. You can follow that. And I give little sneak peeks about, about a day in advance, 12 hours in advance of uh, op future openings. Not all the time, but sometimes. It's super awesome. And on that, let's get cracking. Okay. All right, I'm looking forward to this. Like I said, the box looks like it's in really good shape. That's always a good sign <laughs> that, that they, they didn't get uh, beaten around too much. Oh, wow. This is cool. Dang, that's a really cool box. So that's it. It's a box inside of a box. I am okay with that. Let's see what is in the nice mystery box. This is gonna be cool. What a giant box, this is awesome. <laughs> Should've taken out all the paper. Okay, these are really nice Pokemon boxes and really nice packaging job too. Already off to a good start. It's actually not all bulk. It was like few dollar cards and stuff that he said. So we're just going off of that. So we came to a number of $250. Trying to make both parties happy. We have a bunch of Dijin foils. Card, card D there. Oh, Terra Top, very nice. Emergency teleport. Some Raid Raptor stuff. Got a couple, a few comments and mixed amongst there. Bottomless trap hole, so it is A-OK. -okay. Some Dark Lords. Trade ins. Yeah, it's just a nice little. Uh, mix of everything supers and secrets and stuff looks to be a little bit on this box anyway more on um, basically just this one set I think that's maybe what he did with the, the divider so I'll try to keep it organized like how he had it make my future life a little bit easier when trying to sort these cards <laughs> this is a big pile very cool to the gold rares. We got some old gold rares here. Had <laughs> a gold series one, first ones that came out. That's awesome. I remember going to my local card shop and picking these up. Mm 
Ooh, gold rare judgment dragon. Beautiful. Plague spreader zombie. Trap stone. Fabled love. Ooh, Graffa. Nice to see gold rare. Gold rare dark hole. It's also really pretty. Solar Recharge, Forbidden Lance, Forbidden Dress, and Tanky, Jinzo. Oh, it's a, I think that's a misprint. They did the name Silver on this breaker. The premium Gold, very cool. I'll leave this pile down here so I have room to put it back in the box afterwards. Marine Force of the Army, a Mirror Force to Skullscuff. Yeah, you know, Ryza, Necro Gardener, uh, Prime Material Dragon. Oh, a premium gold Judgment Dragon. Really love Judgment Dragon. It's a different style of art when they first released Judgment Dragon. It seemed to me. It's definitely stood out. <laughs> My friend, when that card was like three hundred dollars, went down to uh, our locals and, <laughs> and decided to buy a, just a few booster packs and pulled one. It's absolutely bananas. I think he literally bought like it was either three or five packs. It was crazy. Oh, nice. We have uh, like maybe an Exodia set. Right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and the Exodia head. Nice, yeah. Entire Exodia set in here. Yeah, it's kind of fun going through this kind of stuff because I have absolutely no idea what is going to be in these. He just had a bunch of extra foils that he wanted to get rid of and messaged me on Facebook and we worked it out. Yeah, if you're watching this, Kahudos for a packaging job and the sorting. Very, very, very nice work. I mean, so the box is coming absolutely destroyed. I mean, obviously you don't have any control over that, but the packaging job you did inside was very nice. Obviously, I understand that most people don't have a lot of experience on <laughs> mailing massive amounts of cards. I've been doing this for a long time and even I have a difficult time mailing it and sometimes cards blow up, the boxes blow up and cards go everywhere, it's terrible. And hopefully you guys, this summer is going fantastic and uh, it's been very, very toasty over here. The weather forecast has been a solid 108 to 110 degrees, absolutely crazy. Number 11 big guy. Man, I remember when this car was just out, absolutely outrageously expensive. Oh my gosh. Mass change to Galaxy Cyclone. Stake in arrest. Very cool. Actually, oh, there was a a hidden gold rare, Donzalug, one of my favorite monsters. Actually, uh, built a Chaos Sorcerer deck ages ago and went to the first region I played. And this is uh, one of the key cards for the deck. They're able to reinforcements for it and everything, and uh, <laughs> deal damage and take cards from their hand. That's all it does. If it deals damage to your opponent, you can discard one random card from your opponent's hand, or I think it's mill the top two cards of their deck to the graveyard. Yeah, so. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I've done that effect before. Yeah, because he didn't have any cards. And uh, the top two cards of his deck was Potter Greed. And, and, uh, actually, in this order, it's Monster Reborn, then Potter Greed. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. He was going to have a couple of good top decks in a row. I'm trying to get this last pile out of here. Looks like we got some sleeve stuff. Gold, old gold rare, Thunder King, Stardust Dragon, 
Obels the Tormentor, five headed. Toon Table of Contents, nice. Braniac. Beazel. The Dark Magician Girl Gold Rare, very, very nice looking. Very cool. Torrential, Bottomless, Thunder King, Stardust Dragon. Got some Time Lord, Honor Arc, Herald of Perfection, Aturia Beast in there, number 77. Skarm, Barfa, Black Rose, and Castell. Yeah, that was some beautiful looking foils in this stack. Wow. And we've only gone through one box so far. We have three more to go. All right, well, just gonna keep his uh, organization organized. Let's put the box out of here. Yeah, these boxes are really cool. I'm not really, uh, I'm not in the loop on the uh, newer gens. I know that's a blast, a blast toys. <laughs> I played the old games going into gen two and then gen three on playing Pokemon Go is all new to me. The Blue Eyes White Dragon, very cool. Dark Magician and Red Eyes, cool. And the Seal of is actually four of uh, some of my favorite cards right there. <laughs> Silver Fang. Oh, cool. We got the Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight. Got the gadgets here. Secret Rare Mirror Force, very nice. Ultra Duster now. Magic Cylinder. Exchange. Rope of Life. Malevolent Catastrophe. Mechanical Chaser. Magic Jammer. Sinister Serpent. Rush of Nightmare. The Two Headed King Rex. All these Mac Machina things. The Soldier, Sniper, Defender, Force. Pretty cool. Super rare. Here's three force of the army. Ooh, a super rare dragged into the grave. Very good card. Some gravekeeper love in here. Necro Valley Royal Tribute. And the Sacred Phoenix of Nephis. Very cool. Fusion Gay, Creature Swap, Book of Moon, Smashing Ground, Swords of Concealing Light. Very cool. And don't forget to drop a comment down below letting me know, uh, let's just say, what your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card was that you saw on this. Obviously, we're not, not even halfway through this video, so this will be a good one. Secret Rare Brow. Secret Rare Dark World stuff here. Very nice. Cool. Oops. Almost went the wrong way there. Oh, yeah. This, this art right here on this Blue Eyes is one of my favorite arts. So, when I was first... When it first dropped, it came in this old, like, show and jump magazine. And I love the way this one looks. The world behind it. About to do his white lightning. Very, very cool looking. But yeah, that was, a. Uh, my friend went over to our local card shop and it was sitting over there. <laughs> yeah, it was in his binder. I was like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? You know, that's before I could drive and he could drive. So <laughs> we ended up walking. It was over at uh, Blockbuster Video. I had the magazine, so that's where we wa went over to and got him, so that was pretty sweet. Crush card viruses, duct devastation, eradicator, full force virus, all of them were there. I love how organized these cards are, too. 
Dragon Master Knight, 5,000 attack, 5,000 defense. Some secret rare Dark Arm Dragons in there. Ancient Fairy Dragons, very cool. DD Crows, three of those. A parrot Dragon, Ultra Rare. And giant Red Sea Snake. Looks like we're into some number hunters here, super rares. Well, there was one worth seeker in that was mixed amongst it. Another secret rare is always nice to see. Some cards just like really, really nice secret rare or super rare, ultra rare, ultimate rare, ghost rare. It's pretty cool. All kinds of rarities. And it seems like there's some cards since like the way the coloring is, it just gets more complimented by it. Mathematician secret rare. Very cool. Magic hand, fire hand, ice hand. <laughs> All the hands are here. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Lord of the Red. Very cool. Eyes Mirage Dragon Seeker, yeah, that's cool. That's a cool looking Seeker. Cyber Angel Red Nova. Number 100, number 45, number 51, 59, 78, 98. <laughs> a little pocket of number uh, exceeds there. That's pretty cool. Doom, Virus, Dragon. A mirror Force Dragon. That's pretty cool. I remember pulling one of those for the first time. Beautiful looking card. The Seal Oricocos. Right on. Alright, we'll get through this next pocket here. Just gonna readjust my, my body. Myself in a more comfortable position. <laughs> the white dolphin's actually pretty cool looking. That's Moby Dick. Oh my gosh. Celestia and Judgment Dragon. Very awesome. And we have uh, Raiden. Solar Recharge. Witch and Vanity's Fiend. That's cool. 
forgot the Vanity's Fiend came in this set, Ultra Rare. It's nice. Some really cool looking cards in here. Some really good ones, too. Exiton Knight in there. Raid Raptor. Into the Void. Let's have a look at Secrets. Play a set of those. Try to put these back in the box and keep it the way it was. And for our last part of this box, let's see what's in here. Just a ton of ultra rares. It's awesome. I just enjoy going through cards and just checking all the foils. See how they all look. It makes it. I don't know. It's fun. It also gives you ideas when you want to like, oh, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Dang. It also gives you ideas. Like whenever I was just like, you know what? Or like maybe a different type of deck I want to build or tech ideas, just thoughts. I just go through cards. <laughs> That's it. Just look at my binder, look at common cards. It doesn't even it doesn't necessarily have to be expensive cards to get a to get a good idea on building a deck. Just go through just some normal bulk commons and everything, get some inspiration. Worked out for me. Oh nice. The Judgment of Anubis Seeker First Edition. Old. Oh, really cool. Some really old bulk in here. Oh my gosh. First Edition Super Cyber Dragon. Gosh, I had such a hard time trying to pull one of those from a booster pack. Oh my goodness. And Chromatic Overload Dragon. That was a very expensive card when it first came out. Oh my gosh. Cyber uh, Dark Horn, Keel, and Edge there. That's nice. And super looks kind of funky. Old style, I guess. Yeah, this is awesome. Destiny and Dragoon. Ultimate Ancient Gear Goal. Vanishing Light. The Ice Master a Seeker Air. Very cool. Thought Real Arch Fiend Ultra. Black Garden. Blackwing Veil, very awesome. Saber Slash. Ancient Sacred Wavern. An Ultra Battle Fader First Edition, nice. Love seeing the old cards, and when they're First Edition too. Phoenix Chain Super First, very cool. Nice little pocket of old school, good foils here. TG Helbert Cannon. And TG Power Gladiator. I'm gonna play the TG deck. That was a fun deck to play. It's kinda like a you know, like an ant they call it like TG stun. Like an anti meta control type deck. And some pretty cool combos in it too. It was a fun deck. Got Cowboy Super first. Original. Beautiful looking card. 
breakthrough skill ultra first. Nice. It's just a random mix of everything. Got some Sylvans there. Satellers, that's cool. Original Seeker Air, first edition. And you got the Yang Zing. That deck was a very difficult deck to play against when it first came out. I had no idea what it was, <laughs> what the deck did. I guess all of them are kind of like that. Sinister Shadow Games kind of reminds me of the, sh you know, the Shadals, obviously. Burning Abyss, original uh, scout here. The Quill Fort deck. All these foils, they're so beautiful. Let's get a Stardust Divine Dragon here. Gosh, beautiful looking card. These synchros are really cool looking. Some of them anyway. I really like colors can really pop. It's nice. Block Dragon. A floodgate Trap Hole. Toon Derek Magician. Very cool. It's hard for me to say what my favorite foil was in here. I love old cards like Vanity's Fiend. Seeing Big Guy in here was cool. So a lot of like cool looking cards. It's really hard to pick which one. I would pick. Exodia is always super epic. I love Exodia. And that one Slifer that we saw in here, that was really cool to see. And of course, you got the blue eyes from that gorgeous art. And we have the red eyes, dark magician, and the seal, the seal of uh, Oricocos. That was really cool. Spellbook of Judgment, Totem Bird. Sacred Swords of the Seven Stars. Nice. Mega Pack Quilfort Stealth. Always have a soft spot for the Quilfort decks that I played so much of it. I actually mostly played uh, against it. No, oh, I became pretty good at playing the deck because of that. It's funny, just interacting with people that are playing the deck. You can pick up on how to play a deck pretty well. As long as you're playing against someone that actually knows how to play the deck well. It's nice. I because I played against my friends that were playing play Shadals all the time.
Soul Drain, Card Trooper, Cosmo Town. Oh, cool. Let's go about Joker Super Rare. That's nice. Oh, dang. Slifer, Obelisk, and the Winged Dragon of Raw. I love the God cards. There's some really cool cards in here. Another wave. Different set, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Neat. The shade of the coloring sold it on me <laughs> without even looking at the set. Gear Free the Iron Knight, the old school one. Total Defense Shogun, same thing. Blade Knight, Command Knight, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, Guilt for the Lightning, Rocket Warrior, Disney Hero Plasma, Red Ar Red Dragon Archfiend Seeker, Coil Guardian. Shooting Star Dragon. Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo Seeker. Oh, Seeker Slifer. And Seeker Obelisk. Majesty's Fiend Super. Very awesome. Put that there. Just readjusting over here. Formalization super, very cool. Love that alternate art run. Oh man, Curse of Dragon Fire, that is epic. Uh, holding arms, holding legs. Diamond Dust. I remember they were wanting this card a long time ago. Was it uh, destroy as many water monsters on the field as possible, then inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each water monster destroyed sent to the giver by this effect? Dang. I can see why they wanted that when mermails were all over the place. <laughs> Doom Caliber Knight, Cyber Dragon, Treeborn Frog, Dandelion, Neo Spacing Grammel, Future Fusion, Command Deck, Fortress Dragon, Judgment Dragon, Gladiator Beast, Gazaris, uh, Junk Synchron, Goyo Guardian, Plague Spreader Zombie, uh, got Gale, Deep Sea Divo, Archfiend, Infernity Launcher, I don't know why I was about to say Archfiend Launcher, a uh, Fusion of Two, <laughs> Forming the Synchron, A Hero Lives, M7, got Tour Guy, and Volker, I got Raviol there, very cool. All right, into our last box here. Oh my gosh, these are all sleeved. I'm assuming this is uh, the box that he's, he's talking about that there was a, I don't know, it was one box or how many boxes? This must be the box he was referring to that had uh, more money cards in it, so. Oh, 
Here we got our the Uria here. Raviol, very cool. Yeah, some gorgeous looking cards. Rare value, uh, Secret Rare First Edition, Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Dark Dragon, Secret Rare. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's fun going through all these cards and just absolutely having no idea <laughs> what you're going to get. It's like Christmas all over again. Opening a nice Christmas present. Very epic. Dang. Most of the time when I refer to bulk, I'm talking about like commons and rares and just low end stuff. This is nice uh, going through just an entire box of bulk foils. Arcanine Magician, Chaos End Master, Magic Planter, Ice Queen, Gateway of the Six, super, very nice. Supreme Arcanite Magician. Wow. Gaga Girl. Wind Up Rat. Oh, wow. Secret Rare First Edition. Number 11 Big Eye. Gorgeous. High Priestess of Prophecy. Secret Rare First Edition. Grand Spellbook Tower, Master, Fate. Ghost Trick of Lantern. And Jelly there, from Majesty's Fiend, Secret First Edition. And Construct there, Original First, Ultra Rare. Cosmo Farm Girl there, Luster Pendulum, Red Eyes Fusion, Blazing Mirror Force, Cosmo Straw Man, Cosmo I can't remember when these things were first out, 90 bucks, gosh, <laughs> crazy, Quaking Mirror Force, Cosmo Tin Can, Cosmo Dark Planet, Forbidden City, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, National Barrier Seeker, uh, Grass Looks Greener Seeker Original First, Looks like these things are all like in brand new sleeves too. It's nice. The Thessalus, the Mega Monarch there. The Little Knight Brothers. Deneb. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Seeker. Very cool. Mass change. Some uh, Marimel stuff there. It's nice. Charge of Light Brigade. Super rare. Leo Super Rare, 103, Two Mass Sorcerer, Starter Deck Joey, Red Eyes, uh, BPT Summit Skull Seeker, that's really cool. Same thing with the Blue Eyes. Oh, and the Lord of D, the Black Skull Dragon, and the Dark Magician, the Buster Blader, another Blue Eyes, XYZ Dragon Cannon's the same, same for the 
Jinzo. Oh my gosh, it's like all of them. <laughs> Swift Gaia, Insect Queen, Xeria in the Universe, Voice Raider, Panther Warrior, Elementary Hero Neos, uh, Cyber Dragon Seeker, Raviol, very nice. Elementary Hero Flare Wingman, and then you have Yuria, Hammond. You got a Sapphire Pegasus there, very, very cool. The Rainbow Dragon is also an epic looking card. An ancient dragon there. And a Castell Super. Marshmallow. Looks like the last half of this this opening or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Revealing of this opening there is the best part. It's crazy Some good foils in here. It's been nice little checking out all these old cards and more recent cards and reprints of old cards Rescue cat Buster Blader, show Gardner Water Creed, Kiss Charity, Sangin Morphine Jar. Seeker Harpy's Feather Duster, nice. Some more Gravekeeper stuff, very nice. Reckless Greed, Sakurai's Armor, Seeker Rare, Compose, Seeker Rare Pot of Greed. Harpy's Pet Dragon, Harpy's Queen, Harpy's Dancer, another Seeker, Harpy's Feather Duster. Good stuff in here. Seeker of Trishla. Number 74. Ooh. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, Seeker Air. First edition. Very cool. Toon Kingdom, Seeker Air. Very nice. A ultra Air version of it. Seeker Air Minerva. Obviously the Tormentor. Oh, old Gold Rare Jinzo, Dark Magician of Chaos, Grandmaster, Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon. Oh, there it is. The GLD1 Crush Card Virus. <laughs> this card was a $350 card at one point on its own. This one right here, this rarity and everything. Before there was a ratted and everything. That was a bananas. Gosh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Mirror Force, Torrential, Sangan, Dark Arm Dragon, and Bottomless Trap Hole. Well, yeah, that's it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive bulk collection revealing. It was something I haven't really done like this in a long, long time. I have done uh, some bulk openings before, foils, but uh, yeah, so it's nice to do this again. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more uh, regular, maybe like once a week, do some kind of like collection opening and stuff like that for you guys. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, favorite card, that's, that's always a plus, it's hard for me to say because I love so many cards. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and bell. Also follow me on Instagram, I try to do little uh, sneak previews, a picture of maybe like the thumbnail or something like that of what I'll be opening next. Try to do it maybe like 12 hours before the video comes up, maybe even 24 hours, it's pretty awesome. I don't always do it, but I try to do it pretty often, so it's a nice way to get a little sneak peek on what I'm gonna be opening next. And yeah, on that, Jobber here is signing out.